Well, often when we're off screwing around doing other things and finding fun things to show you guys, of course, we'll end up finding something unusual. The town attraction. The town attraction. The, the Just something interesting like this that's just like, oh, well, that's really cool and, and interesting. And you just never know what might pop up. So while the big trains and stuff get all the attention, sometimes it's just the goofy little fun things that are fun. In this case, little small town museums. Look at all these toys and things that someone collects it's, besides us. <laughs> it's all the local people kind of donate their, their precious items to the little local museum, handmade bric-a-brac. Yes, and just, just fun stuff. Fun stuff. You never know what's going to turn up. I mean, some sometimes really weird stuff. So this is the White Pine County Museum in Ely, Nevada. And once upon a time, it was also the Nevada Northern Museum. <laughs> Um, so they've got uh, some of the railroad artifacts left. Everything's moved now down to East Ely to the real live Nevada Northern. But a few of those things stayed here. Including this schoolhouse. Isn't that neat? It's a little log cabin. They brought it in from some other town out in the sticks somewhere. Well, it's just so whimsical. I love it. And oh. I miss this inside. I mean, I, I worked with students for so long that this is so familiar to me. Yeah, kids today wouldn't recognize this at all. Probably not. This is one of your older school <laughs> classrooms. Yeah, how, uh, how it once was. Now, this is Nevada Northern 83, and it used to be in that museum. Really? Yeah. Uh-oh, now I'm in jail. <laughs> yeah, busted. Got in trouble again. <laughs> now, a couple of hundred miles from there in Washington, Utah, right by St. George, is the cotton mill. One of my favorite places in that area. They use it as a nursery, but it's also a museum and uh, kind of a community hall. It is. It, they spent a lot of money restoring it, so they use it for a lot of different things. But it's an absolutely beautiful, beautiful building. A lot of history. A lot of history. And what I really enjoyed is you can really see how a building like this was constructed. So I was taking a lot of notes because I'd like to model this. I would too. So that will end up on the channel when I figure out exactly how to, How that's to, gonna go. How that's gonna go. I, I've asked Steve about how to do the rock work and so on, and he has some wonderful ideas. And so this will be an upcoming show, how to model this incredible mill. And equally unexpected, just down the street from there is a dinosaur museum. The Johnson Family Farm, which is not a farm. No, they found <laughs> dinosaur footprints on their farm and suddenly it became a dinosaur <laughs> museum. Yeah, yeah. It's not a farm anymore. No. Now, if you're really looking for a funny little rural museum, look no further than Hurricane, Utah. Well, they have some really interesting artifacts in there and town history. A lot of town history. All the locals have donated their stuff. And uh, it's just a typical little museum, the Alfred Hall home. Yes. Just pictures of people's oh, and houses. Those stoves, I grew up around those, believe it or not. And this, a bacon. The, the bacon. <laughs> the 70 year old bacon. That's what I came here for. Well, this is, oddly enough, there's a couple of artifacts in here that are bringing people from all over the country to see. And, and oddly enough, the 70 year old bacon. That's the one is one of the things that people are coming from all over to see. And the other is the 113-year-old wedding cake. Yes, can you imagine? Well, this got listed on a website called The Must See Sites in America. Yes. And suddenly this goofy little museum has, is attracting tens of thousands of people from all over the country to come in great. to see the wedding cake. I think it's just great. I, I wanted to see this for years. Absolutely. And there it is. Yeah. I know why it survived. Oh. It's a, it's a fruitcake. There you go. The, first, those things are indestructible, and second, they're inedible. Ah. So that's, that's how it managed to survive for 113 years. <laughs> Well, if you're ready to subscribe, here comes the famous blue button. <laughs> right there. there it is. Well, we're not sure how you found this. Uh, tasteless. Tasteless. <laughs> yeah, don't, don't taste it. Movie on the internet, but we hope you didn't find it boring.